All right, it's time for a tech breakdown on the square block. Let's talk for one second. Uh, previously, in Salon and Taekwondo, with volume five curriculum, green curriculum on down, there were times that your hands would do two blocks at the same time. Two blocks at the same time. Two blocks at the same time. But your hands never did two different blocks at the same time. That's one of the increased difficulties that's going to happen with the per block curriculum, and it's going to start with a square block. A square block is a high block and an outer form block that happen at the same time. So this hand starts where a high block always starts. This hand starts where an outer form block always starts. Some high ranks will teach you it's here, and some high ranks will teach you up here. Um, all those high ranks can beat us up, so that say, I'm gonna be teaching this technique from here, okay? So, square block starts like this, okay? This hand starts here, goes out here, ends at nose height, face out. This hand travels the same direction a high block does, starts here, crosses the shoulder, wrist goes directly above the head. A little too close to the camera, so let's back up. Cool, so, again, it goes, Ribs, shoulder, this hand goes face out, nose height. This hand goes face out above the forehead. Common mistakes to the square block include getting that hand wrong, getting this hand over here, the way too literally a square block. What we really want is starting above the head to the side of the head. One more thing I want to cover. The high block hand goes on the inside. So. That way, this hand can get a little bit of circular motion, but this hand comes in and collects the top. Face, ribs, shoulder, outer form block, high block. Another way I teach the kids is starting position, make a plus sign, pop. In fact, you can do plus sign, pop, plus sign, pop, a lot. Starting, plus sign, pop, all right? That's your square block, go practice.